So here's a quick starter cargo ship you can build, and I think it looks really nice. Yeah, so here's the exploded view. Makes it easier for me to reassemble that. I usually like to start with the cockpit, and I really like the Hope Tech cockpits. Also, this entire ship is built at the Hope Tech shipyard. Okay, so first I like to take this Armstrong cockpit and give it a companionway fuselage A. And companionway just means it's, it's a hallway you can go through. Snap those together. Then I like the Hope Tech landing bay because it has a more bulky look to it. And I can put it directly under the nose of the ship. Like so. And now I can combine those items if I want by holding left control, left clicking, all those three together. Letting go of control, now I can move them together like this. Okay, now behind it, so I got another companion way like this. And let's see what was next. Yeah. The Stellator reactor, I like to put the reactors under the ship, like these uh, exposed, wiry looking things. And I think it's one of the coolest parts of the entire game. That's why I always go to Hope Tech to build. That's the Hope Tech hab spine. It's basically a connector piece, however, it's a hab unit, which means you can actually go through it. Expand, extend the spine like this. And then I'm going to put the landing gear first over here. See, that's a landing gear piece. And put the other, not where is it? And put the other piece over here. Also, if you don't know how it works, you can basically mirror it. You can take this piece, hold left control, press G, let go of control, move it over, press Z, and snap to the other side. This also copies the color of that piece to the other. Okay, now what's the next thing? And yeah, it's the graph ref. I like to put the graph ref at the end of the ship because these, uh, these frilly pieces at the end looks nice on the silhouette. And I think the engines I put up here on the side. And I think the fuel tank I put up here on the, on the combined belt. Now, as a rear landing gear, I like to use this Hope Tech 5 landing gear. Now, for some reason, you can only use this one rotated towards the back. You cannot rotate it the other way. And put this one here. So there's a nice balanced silhouette like this. Okay, now I'd like to put some light asym asymmetry in my ships. This is a docker that goes in off to the side of the ship. And it has to be connected to one of your pieces you can walk through. It doesn't work on this one. You can actually connect it here, but uh, the spine piece only has a hallway going this direction. And then I picked this container piece because it looks... It really looks nice, like the container with the uh, attachment part to it. So I put this over here. Another one over here, another one over here. And that's the complete ship. I think it has a nice silhouette to it. And we have a cargo hold that's, I think, f I think about five times larger than the Frontier. And the whole thing costs about 22,000 credits. Also, I'd like to show you something about the um, about the color your ship. There's a quick trick, in case you haven't watched my other tutorial about it. For example, let's, let's say you take this cockpit, okay? Press J. Let's say you have this color, you like it, you want to use it on the rest of the ship. However, you don't know how to transfer the color. The first thing you have to do is you have to modify the color slightly, then put it back where it is, and press E to accept. I go to color the next part, press J. Then the recent color is saved as that. Then you can just copy it over like this. Click on that. Now it already has this color. So you can do the same for the containers. Actually, don't left-click, you just press J. And turn the container into the same color. Well, yeah, but you can only color the, this part. The container itself is a static color. And I'm going to show you how it looks on the inside. Even has a nice appearance on the ground. Look at this. Like the, the bulky crew compartment in the front and the spine extending to the rear. And the engine's giving it like a counterweight on the other side. The rear area of the ship. And see, that's the coolest part of the entire game, I think, is that um, 
That's the connector spine piece. You can walk through like that.